Hey guys, it's the Doctor here, and today we are doing a winter set. The set does not have a clearly marked name, but we know it is the Winter Post Office. 822 pieces, set number 10, 222, ages 12 plus. And this is a definite family set, so if you are younger than 12, don't worry. You can get your family to help you build it. And you'll have a nice winter's post office. As you can see, it comes with a lot of minifigures. comes with a lot of pieces to play with. Pagoda, house, post office. And, of course, this really cool old truck. And, of course, count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven minifigures. And a tiny dog. One of the exciting things is we get this rare light brick. And it includes the batteries. Here's the back of the box. As it can show that they have a nice little snowball fight outside of the post office. Of course, the mail guy and the dog are trying to deliver the wonderful pieces of mail to all the boys and girls. Have a lot of playability. A lot of fun with this set. A lot of minifigures. A lot of unique pieces. So let's go ahead and get to the overall view of it and then to the minifigures and if you would like to see this being built right here this is a link to the actual building of the set I am not going to be able to put it in this video but you can check it out later here's the whole set all together as you can see it actually is a pretty wide array of pieces because of the the standalone building here the main post office as well as the truck and of course this tiny little bench so let's get into the minifigures real quick. Here is the first minifigure of the tons of minifigures. I'm going to call him Little Timmy. He is the dog capturer. He has these blue overalls and it comes with a bone and a leash. This is not a whip, guys. He's not an animal beater. Hey, right, you just get a good detailed view of his printing here is it's so cold outside I really don't care what I'm wearing guy as you can see is quite a different array of colors he has a green hood gray sweatshirt and blue pants and he's shoveling so he doesn't really care what he's wearing there he is without the hood and he's a rather basic minifigure one of the more detailed figures. This is the fine lady of the hour. She is trying to deliver mail in time for Christmas. Has this golden hair and a printed front with a scarf. And then on the back you can see that it continues the scarf pattern. Of course her legs are the sloped brick to represent that she is wearing a dress. This is the scruffy banjo player as you can see he has this banjo this is actually a sticker not a banjo piece slightly disappointing hard to get those on turn him around he's wearing the red bandana backwards and you can see how the guitar is put, to, put together and then back to the front and as you can see he has a little bit of detailing on his front as well Here's crazy cool sax guy. He's playing the saxophone. Pretty outrageous like. Playing that Christmas music real loud and rebellious. It is a pretty cool musical piece put together with a few bricks. Here's his front. Kind of a plaid shirt. No printing on the back. Kind of looks like a young George Lucas. Here is the male lady. A male suit. Not a like a man suit but a post office suit. Of course plain back and just the printed front. And here's the male male person. The post office worker. He is a pretty simple minifigure as well. And he is the truck driver also. Hey, you also get this 
tiny little dog, which is a reddish brown color. And just a slight amount of nose printing on him. Decent little puppy dog. This is one of the first pieces you get to build. It is a simple little bench with a pile of snow here. Of course, you sit the guy who is shoveling the snow along here to make it look like he's trying to clear off this bench. Also comes with this tree, which is a really nice build. Took me about a few hours to make, but still a really nice build. And then of course you get this little pagoda piece with the detailings on the side. What I really like about this is it has a round feel to it. Which is really hard to do round with Legos, as everybody knows, because Legos are normally square. So let's take a little bit closer look. Starting at the top, you get this nice little rare brick. It is the star brick. It is very clear, yellow, and comes with a red bit of detailing on it. Continuing down, you kind of see how the round feature is added in. It's just a little bit of a flap. has the snow detailing on it and a few lights to top it off. And then, of course, you get these steps up into the pagoda which has these nice seats in here, which are not really seats, can't really sit on them, but nice detailing anyways. Spin it around, you get these nice Christmas decorations on each side, which makes it a nice wintry pagoda. Here's the truck you get. It's a real nice old-timey feeling truck. It has doors. Nice little guardrail piece here. Feels like a pretty old truck. You get some sticker decals here and here to add a little bit of detail. Come around to the other side. Looks exactly the same. Right here the door's open. Of course you get a pair of snowshoes. The only thing I don't like about this is that they kind of swivel a little bit. Wish they were a little bit more stationary. This is a sticker here as well. On top of the truck you get a bag for when the male person comes out you can carry it then on the inside of the truck holds these presents of course you need the male presents for the little boys and girls at home you could just pop this off grab a minifigure and stick them down in here he's the only one that can drive it pretty much because if you put, try to put a the post office lady in here her hair will get in the way and she just won't fit so he is the only one that can drive the vehicle overall nice little build and the main feature is the actual post office itself of course is the outside overview of it comes with a nice detailed lamp here some icicle detailings which we'll take a closer look at two mailboxes incoming outgoing I guess Really nice detailed window. Tiny little tree here. I like the way this chimney looks. It has a stone style to it. And then, of course, on the other side, you can see the inside rooms. Also, another nice feature is... Oh, oh, oh. Comes with a little light, which is pretty decently bright. And it can add a nice feature to your Christmas Eve post office. Starting at the very top peak of the post office, we have these windows here, which cannot open because they are blocked by this clock. But nice detailing anyways. This is the other window that you get. Of course, it opens. Continuing on down from there, this is the front of the post office. It has this nice rounded feature to it with these windows. Of course, icicles on the side. You also have this little sticker decal here, which is on the front of the post office itself. Then, of course, this is the door that opens to go into the post office. And, of course, these open up for your mail. And here's the other side of the post office. It has a few icicle detailings. And, of course, this really awesome lamp here. 
Then going further into the post office here, you can see it has a few packages. This is the side that the post fellas stand on and receive the mail. They can put mail in this bag here. Of course, you can see a little fireplace which continues outside to the chimney here. Of course, this nice tiled bottom for the base of the floor. This is the entrance way for the customers to come inside. Has really expensive stamps. It looks like one comma zero zero. Not really sure what that means, but I do not plan on buying stamps here. Of course, more storage for mail on the other side here. And then the last room that you get is a tiny break room. I'm not sure how you get up here. I guess you just levitate yourself on up. Grab yourself a coffee and enjoy the top room view. That was just a quick overview of all the detailings of the Winter Post Office, which is the newest winter set. Has a lot of nice minifigures. Eight, including the dog. So it comes with a lot of pieces, a lot of playability. Has the two musicians, the tiny kid, the male, girl, male, boy, and then the really cold guy and the pretty lady. I think it's a nice little set, especially if you have all the of the other winter sets. It adds to the winter scene. Definitely going to have to give this a build it. Mainly because it incorporates a lot of good building techniques that are really fun to learn. Comes with a lot of nice building pieces. A lot of not so unique minifigures, but a wide array of minifigures. You get the really cool lamp. A lot of trees. I like the detailings on the top of the roofs with the snowfall. Makes it look like a real winter scene. The post office on the inside isn't that big, but it is just detailed enough to make it look like a post office. Of course, you have the clerk side as well as the customer side. It may not be as exciting for youngsters because it is a simple post office. I know a lot of the older fans of LEGO will definitely love this and will definitely love to collect the whole entire winter scene. I think this would be excellent to stick underneath the tree if you celebrate Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, well, it is still an excellent winter's post office. So this has been a real quick doctor review. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Of course, there will be tons more videos. And this is me signing out.